The groundbreaking Belgian knockout produced high drama on Friday with Ian Epic playoff needed to get the field down to the final 64. With 56 players finishing at par or better at Rankvin International Golf Club, the 11 men at 1 over were split into a 5 ball and a 6 ball and headed to the 10th tee to see which 8 of them would progress. Over three extra holes, Zimbabwean Scott Vincent, England's Laurie Cantor and Swede Jens Farbring were the only players able to make birdies, with English pair Ryan Evans and Tom Lewis, Chilean Felipe Aguilar, South Korea's Jin Ho Choi and Frenchman Roman Waddle joining them in them in the knockout stages. That meant heartbreak for New Zealander Ryan Fox, England's Callum Shankwin and Australian Jordan Zunick, and here is how the drama unfolded in the fading light of Antwerp. Cantor and Evans were the only players to find the fairway with their tee shots on the first trip up the 10th, and they both made routine pars with two putts from the back of the green. The best of the playoff action in two combining and closing key cap minutes. Shinquin had also found the left rough and he looked in trouble when he sent his second to the right of the green but he made an excellent up and down to record a par. Zunik lost his ball right off the tee and, although his provisional was perfectly placed on the fairway, he sent his fourth shot right and when he failed to get up and down, he signed for a 7. When the second group got underway, Fox was another man to send his tee shot a long way right and while he found his ball, he had to chip out onto the ninth ladies tee and ended up signing for a 6. Well played, at Loria Cantor. He heads through to tomorrow's knockout matches. Seven players for six places. That meant Vincent was through and Fox and Zunik were eliminated. They went to the 18th and while Cantor was the only player to miss the fairway in the first group, he put his second to 10 feet and made a birdie to advance, with Evans and Shankwin making regulation pars and Aguilar playing a nice chip. All four players in the second group then found the fairway off the tee but Farbring was the only one to convert that into a birdie from 8 feet to progress. Shinkwin, Evans, Aguilar, Joy, Waddle and Lewis. Six men playing off for five more weekend spots. Choi, Lewis and Aguilar all made smart pars to go through, with Shankwan getting a lucky bounce into the fairway off the tee and Waddle and Evans both finding the rough. Shinkwen went a long way right with his second and then found water with his third to leave the door open, prompting Evans to lay up and eventually make a bogey. Waddle went left with his second and while he also recorded a bogey, Shinkwen's six meant he was heading home. It's all over. Shinkwen drops out and that's all 64 weekend spots filled https colon slash slash t dot co slash fatifonj 5 pick dot twitter dot com slash 042 nishba the european tour at european tour may 18th 2018 scott vincent what a nice way to do it just come out here and get it done not have to worry too much more about the rest of the holes i was really nervous Obviously being first up out of everyone, you're kind of setting the pace there. Could get one going forwards and roughly in the right direction. It adds a lot of excitement and drama to golf so I think the spectators will appreciate it. It gives us golfers a bit of a heart attack now and then but it's going to be great. Lori Cantor, I got a bit lucky with the drive got it a bit necky down the left but ended up being quite a nice lie. It's cool, it's always nice when you're doing things that are different and anything where, as a viewer, you're engaged a little more in a different way is great for golf. I just need a decent burger in me tonight, I might have a beer as well to be honest and we'll see how we go tomorrow, Jens Farbring, I've been in playoffs a couple of times before but not 11 guys for 8 spots.
it was a little bit nerve-wracking, especially getting into the round, a couple of hours waiting, waiting on the tee box second group off. The temperatures dropped severely as well but I got a lucky bounce on the last up to about 7 feet and made that putt. I wasn't really thinking about a playoff on plus one, I played pretty awful from tee to green both rounds so I'm just happy to have a chance tomorrow and hopefully I'll play a little better.